from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. at home. How you doing? Oh, I got a lot to say. Let's get started. It's time for Hot Topics. for me here at the show, only because Friday is the date Wendy dating game. Uh -huh. I selected my three favorite guys, and they'll be on virtual. Let's get this life started. To say. So did you watch Atlanta Housewives last night? Okay, they had uh, Cynthia had a sex theme dungeon party. No, exact. No, nope. <laughs> they have gone too. Although Kenya, you win. Kenya wins. But no, you don't understand how much blurring and stuff we had to do. Like looking at the whole thing. Like what do you actually show? The, a mess. The, the, there was there was a stripper there, but one man named um, Bolo. Bolo. <laughs> <laughs> My thing was, was that, first of all, it's like boring having that many women around. Like they're, they're away, you know, and, and Bolo's there. <laughs> and the girls are dressed the part and they are just doing the most. And it was really difficult to watch. Like honestly, I would watch and then change the channel to something else and then come back and see if they're still doing it. I wouldn't even wait for commercial break. I'm like, click, there's Bolo. Oh my gosh. They called Bolo back. So Bolo ended up staying over the house because we caught him leaving in the morning. Kenya became a tattletale, which was my favorite thing. A lot of girls, a lot, a lot of girls are like, no, you broke girl code. No, she didn't. She kept my attention. Go ahead, keep talking. She, she kept my attention. So, wait, you take a look and then we'll continue. I see LaToya straddling Portia, and they were making out and grinding. I remember kissing a couple people, or was it one person? <laughs> I don't remember. I will get in real trouble. <laughs> 6 a.m., I was up, went downstairs. No one was in the living room, and I could hear noises, moans, and groans. And I heard voices coming from the hallway. Are you serious? Somebody is screwing the stripper. I mean, it was fun to watch in an entertaining way, but when you realize that these are real women who are like in their 40s and 50s, it just is kind of sad. I, you know, and it, it, we have a good time in our Hot Topics morning meetings, but we unanimously agreed that they've gone too far. Yeah, I mean, it crossed the line that they can't really cross back from. No. But I was entertained, <laughs> like one of the greatest episodes of all time. Well, only because that's not us. Exactly, like, like exactly. We, we know them through TV, we don't know these people, and, but, and they've been around for so long. It's like for Candy, there's not one thing that Candy could do or say, I think I've shared this with you before, nothing she could do or say anymore in life that I would find it hard to believe. So Candy was in her element. You know, Candy's got a second house and a dungeon and she goes, she puts on dungeon shows and she makes it no secret. She's got love toys and makes money off of it. Plus, she's still doing music and collecting checks off music that she wrote. 
and she's got Todd and they got the kids and she'll have to explain this one day to them. You know, Riley's probably over at school like, oh, okay, okay. But she let us know who she was virtually as soon as she became a housewife. I don't remember a time when it was real shocking. But the rest of them, like I don't know who Drew is. I really don't pay attention like that. But the re like Cynthia, you got into it. Uh -huh. And I know that you're with Mike and I know that you're married and you, you're in love and everything. But Cynthia, I was shocked. <laughs> And um, Kenya is in the middle of a divorce or something like that? The divorce is final? Yep. Something or, like that. Yeah, he filed, yep. So who would the next man be for more than a weekend or a two week vacation? You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you keep, you know, all your friends have seen her dance around on the floor? Like, okay, well, I, I'm just saying, I just thought it was all too much. Um, and then the other big story over the weekend was that it's official that Kim and Kanye have filed for divorce. Apparently she was the one who filed um, and I guess he's going along with it. Uh, and she's got one of the best uh, divorce attorneys for a woman. Uh, she's over in um, LA. So they have four children and they're gonna share custody of the kids. See that, to me, that's the setup right there. I wouldn't, think that he'd be good with four young children or even one at a time. You know, he's moved out. He lives now in Wyoming. The word is, is that once he came and got his stuff out of the place where they live in Calabasas, that she changed the locks and she lives there with the kids. And I don't know, I wouldn't try. He went off the rails and he's still not right, Kanye. And the kids are very impressionable and Kanye says that he thinks that the final straw with Kim was um, when he was running for president. Take a look. She said she was pregnant, and for one month, and two months, and three months, we talked about her not having this child. She had the pills in her hand. The people know these pills where you take the pills, and if you take it, it's a wrap. The baby's gone. <laughs> He's not a fit parent right now. Anyway, they have a combined worth, they say, of $2.1 billion. They also have a prenuptial agreement that both of them are going to honor. They say this is not, not gonna really be a problem. She can go off and still do really well in business or whatever she wants to do, you know? I mean, she's got her lane, you know, so even she has limitations, but her limitations pretty much, I'm trying to think of what, what would the her limitations be? Nope. Nothing. None. None. Any money that um, she loses over being with him, she'll make that back quickly. Mm -hmm. She'll get married again. This is her third marriage. She'll get married again. There'll be somebody who'll want to be a part of it. <laughs> Sign here. <laughs> you know, but there'll be some, somebody who'll want to be a part of it. And, and, you know, I think hopefully she'll be tasteful in explaining to the children why there's always, you know, an army of people around whenever they visit their father. You know, it's touchy. And she's different than the um, girls in Atlanta, by the way, because we've always known, like we met her on her back or on all fours, right? We, we met her on all fours, so she's not, she's not, if anything, she's made it work for her. Right. <laughs> you know? A pioneer. <laughs> <laughs> I was so distracted by um, Brooke Shields breaking her femur. I, it's like, I, that, that story is so scary to me. You, a femur, that's that bone right up here. It's like one thing if you break your ankle, even if you break two ankles and two arms at the same time. But let, she's got to learn how to walk again. There she's in the hospital. She shared this information with us on her Instagram. And a lot of outlets you know, picked up the story. And all I could think of was, and she's 55. And you know what we say about falling? It's never the same past a particular age. There isn't a reason as to why she broke her femur. Like, what was, what was she doing? How do you break a femur? She's learning how to walk all over again. She can only put 30% of weight on the broken one. 
So I wish her well, but it made me walk even slower in my own apartment. Like I stayed in all weekend, but I had company, but I stayed in. Masks, yeah, <laughs> I'm back to that in the house. Uh -huh. like, I, I, there is room for social distancing, but nope, let's wear masks. Anyway, I walked even slower and like, when, you know, when I first found out about it, I slept with all the lights on. I'm not missing a beat when I have to wake up and go to the ba bathroom. Anyway, um, so Pam Anderson, good luck, uh, Brooke, with the, the recovery. <laughs> Pam Anderson is Pam Anderson. She's 53 years old. I look her better with longer hair. I think I've told that to you before. It's back to being long and, and bedhead. Oh. And wait, oh, oh, oh. 53, she's got this new husband, his name is Dan, and he's 40. Well, they gave an interview in the bed. And, well, they went on a show that I've appeared on before, so I know exactly where they were. It's like um, it's the British version of um, The View. It's called uh, Loose Women. <laughs> Look, a bunch of, of middle-aged you know, ladies talking smack, and they really are really entertaining. Um, so just take a look. I didn't think we were actually going to see you in the arms of the man you love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we haven't left bed since Christmas Eve. Oh, really? <laughs> what did you fall for, Pamela? <laughs> that gorgeous being. <laughs> I couldn't resist. She couldn't resist me. <laughs> He's the kind of guy I probably would have met if I would have stayed home and not went around the world and got crazy. I mean, I came home in one piece. It's nice to be with, like, a real man who can actually change a light bulb. <laughs> it's very useful. It seems like you are in this, well, oh. obviously, this cocoon, this nest. How will you Sorry, venture out? Oh, we're going up around the other way. OK. Sorry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I actually feel like I am now in bed with you. <laughs> I mean, you know, they, yes, they're in bed, but he has on a shirt and she, you saw the strap, she's wearing a negligee. They're laying in their bed, they're married people. And the only annoying part to me was that the camera angle, you know, all that. I'm looking, I'm trying to look. But look, it looks like she's got on no makeup, you know, and, and she's, that's, that's Pam. That's what we know her as. None of this was shocking to me, you know. The only thing is, is that about Dan. Well, Dan left his longtime girlfriend for Pam. Oh. Now, Dan is some sort of handyman, right? And lived only like six blocks away from Pam with the girlfriend, and Dan has two children from a previous relationship, but they were living like a family, the two kids and, and the lady. So he'd go over there every day fixing stuff, and it became a regular thing. But you know, if you're a homeowner that, that, or an apartment renter or whatever, something could always be fixed. And if you like the company, then you begin talking with the person. So before you get st started working, you make them a smoothie. You know, you have your coffee and biscotti. You know, your strap might fall down. And by lunchtime, it's on. <laughs> You know, and the way, uh, and the, so he'd go home at the end of a long work day because he'd be there for hours. And this went on for some time. He'd be there for hours and go home and six blocks away and say to the lady, you know, his, his girlfriend at the time with the two kids, not by her. Um, oh, that Pam is crazy. No, she's nuts, but it's good money. We need the money. It's good, steady money. You know, today I did this, today I did that. Do you know how she found out that he and Pam were actually a couple and together? The same way we all did. We turned on the TV. Pam's got a new boyfriend. What? What is going, at that point, that same day, they say that he moved out of the house, moved down the street, six blocks away, to Pam's house. So I guess he took his kids with him too. So now they're all living like a family. And she, she, she's down the street. He could have just told her, Pam, not for nothing. The way, you, the way he left her, he might do the same thing to you. Not, like, not tell you anything. And then you turn on TV on Hot Topics and you see what I'm talking about. Oh, by the way, this, is, uh, this was 10 years ago, you know. Um, no, hit the, mm-hmm. Yup. 
I, w- I was over in England. I, I was booked to do different stuff, you know, to promote our show because we, we are on in 52 countries. And, and I was over there and mm-hmm, 10 years later, I feel good. <laughs> that was back when I could wear six inch heels and walk cobblestone and not fall. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was a good time. People aren't very tall. I, like I was very tall. I like stood out, and I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, so about the Sex and the City reboot, which I'm still watching. I'm still gonna watch it. Um, the reboot they say is gonna be without Christopher Noth, who played Big. Well, maybe she'll get her um, romantic life together. When we saw them last. They were married, they were a married couple. So I don't know how they're gonna explain where Big is, maybe they just broke up again. <laughs> how many times have we seen them break up? But you know, maybe they just broke up. I mean, he's on a show now with um, Queen Latifah and he's gone on to do other acting things and I guess maybe he doesn't need the money. I mean, it's money, it's exposure, but he did hint, this is Christopher Noth, he did hint that, um, uh, um, he might be back overnight, just last night. Um, he said everything changes, including announcements in the rags. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> so, and Kim Cottrell is not coming back, and still, and the, they say the for, they they say that the uh, storyline is going to be about just. Uh, three women in their 50s, and that that friendships fade, you know? See, I just wanna know how their friendship fade. Like, where do you fall out of Samantha? Does she make you mad? She didn't make me mad. Did you have a horrible fight? Please don't say she died. And if, if Chris Noth is not coming back, because remember, they didn't do a third movie, but in the third movie, he was supposed to die. Yeah, please don't say anybody died. And then the quick word, but it hasn't been confirmed, is that Steve won't be coming back. And I was shocked at that, because that's Brady's dad. And I want he and Miranda to still be together. They were, they're, they're a good couple. I watched like a full marathon over the weekend, and I'm like, I like that. <laughs> weekends are so, the weekends are longer and longer because of the, the um, corona and the vaccines or lack thereof. Planes are crashing, people are protesting, the streets aren't safe anywhere, it seems. And as soon as we say bye on Friday, which you know is actually Thursday, we do Friday and I have a three day weekend, it seems like three months. Oh my God, it seems like three months. Like I'm thinking maybe the boyfriend, you know, if I, if I had a steady person, maybe the, maybe the weekends wouldn't seem so long. But even them, they get on your nerves. And we, and we get on their nerves. So this woman in California is, is being bullied. Did I leave anything out of the Atlanta Housewives? Oh, that they, they, the girls told the camera people at Bravo, I mean, get out. Uh-huh. And then they all got up on um, chairs and stuff and ladders and, and hid the, the cameras. But you know, there's always a secret camera yeah. in the dark. There's, there's always right. a secret camera. Look, your children are going to have to see that. And, and so the, the second your girls get cute, the other girls are gonna be like, yeah, your mother's a whore. Oh. <laughs> you know, and play. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> so there's this California mom who's gonna have to deal with the same thing, except she's doing it with her husband. <laughs> look, look, look. So here she is. You know, but people are losing their jobs and people who have jobs aren't working as much and people's bills are going up. Did you see that there's some $10,000 uh, monthly electric bills in, yeah. in Texas? Uh-huh. And it's going on. So people are doing what they can for money. And I'm, I don't hate on that. Except just remember one day we're gonna get all this fixed and we're gonna go kind of back to normal life, except with masks, in my opinion. Um, and a lot of disinfectant, you know? 
but we're gonna go back to normal and the kids are gonna be back in school. And here you are, 44, you look terrific, Tiffany. Her name is Tiffany Poindexter. <laughs> Everybody calm down. So she, she and her husband, they wanted to spice up their you know, sex life because people were just laying around the house. And a cute couple though, right? And nice middle-aged people, you know, deciding, all right, let's spice it up. So he was taking sexy pictures of her and then finally they decided to punch it up a notch and get one of those fan-only mm -hmm, pages. What? <laughs> fan-only accounts or whatever you call them. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, you know how much she earns per month though? About $150,000 a month. Okay. <laughs> And you know, on one hand, you can't be mad at her. She looks great, 44-year-old mother. She doesn't let her body go or anything. And that's what she looks like regular, but she still has a way about her. So the parents at the school started bullying her. And now they're going after the kids. Well, that's only natural, um, Tiffany. You know, if you look better than them, you know how um, people are. Anyway, uh, take a look. I was getting text messages, I was getting voicemails, actually I have a good voicemail from my dad, um, you know, really laying into me about how disgusting and disturbing I am, how I should pack up and move out of town. Um, it's, it's been a lot of like bullying and harassment um, on me, which is fine. People don't have to agree with what I decide to do. Uh, and that's okay. I'm not asking anybody for their approval or for their agreement. But what I'm not okay with is people going after my children and trying to get them removed from school. Um, and that takes the whole bullying and the harassment to a whole different level. They might be kind of doing you a favor though. It, it, is, it is horrible, you know, and what had happened was, this fan only page was going on for a moment and nobody discovered it in the town, which I find shocking to believe, you know? Nobody discovered it in the town. So one particular dad discovered it and, and uh, yeah, a dad, what's your wife say? Anyway, look, look, the dad discovered it and, she, and he goes and he copies all of the pictures and hands them out like nobody's, oh, that's, that would be me. <laughs> That would be me because I wouldn't have the guts to do it because you know you live your life for your kids until they're 20 years old and can live on their own. You know, it's like kids really interrupt some fun. I, you know, now the kids they don't want them at the school and the principal is looking into it and they want them out of the town. And I, I do believe women are jealous. Even the ones that look great are jealous because they don't have the guts or they're, or they're mindful, civilized people who are mindful of their children and say, damn, I missed those years. If you stay in that town, your kids are gonna be outcasted. They're never gonna be invited to birthday parties. If they are invited, it's only because they're gonna be waiting for you to drop them off just so that your mothers can, you know, you know how even in the drop off line at school or at a private birthday party for the kids, you know, moms know how to shade. Especially, especially if they still have on the, that bit of baby weight, but their kids are seven. <laughs> or, 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 their hut, or maybe they don't have a husband or their marriage is on the rocks or something like that. This is, you know, you two asked for it. You went, is she shocked? I'm not shocked, you're shocked, Tiffany. And don't, don't bother taking the page down because I bet you that new pool in the back and that fleet of Mercedes or wherever you all live now is probably making people seethe with jealousy. <laughs> So you might as well go with your strengths. Where else is she gonna get paid like that? Because now that, she, now that she's used to the money, you know what I mean? And now that it's out there, the only thing she can do is just stick with it, you know, until it falls apart. And even when it falls apart, you know, there, there, there's porn for everyone. You know, there, 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 there's nakedness for all ages and all, all types. So you and your husband might as well just stick to a good luck keeping your marriage together and good luck with your kids, and we got more great show for you. So the big story over the weekend is Harry and Meghan are out of the Royals. Well, oh, uh, Rob Shooter is here with the inside scoop. So grab a snack and come on back.
the inside scoop, and here with the dish is the host of Naughty But Nice. It's a podcast. His name is Rob Shooter. Welcome hello, back. Hello, 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 hello. So let's talk about Harry and Meghan. I'm not so shocked at this. Yeah, well, they were on a year probation. So remember, a year ago, they said they wanted to step out of the family. The Queen really did not want this to happen. So the Queen said, you know what, have a year probation. Have a year to figure it out. And I think the family, the royals, thought they would come back. They thought they'd see the grass is not greener, although apparently it is in California where they are, and yes. the is a lot nicer too. Yeah. So they did not come back to the family. So after a year, the Queen put out a statement. Let me put my glasses on and tell you. She confirmed they're not returning as working members of the family. She said, in stepping away from the work of the royal family, it is not possible to continue with the responsibilities and the duties that come with a life of service. So all the things they did, all the military honours, all the challenges, Charities that they worked for, they've all been taken away from them. It doesn't seem like that big a deal, but Harry really enjoyed his military career and he wanted That's to hold because on to he that. was waiting until he met the right girl. Well, he had nothing else, but now hopefully he does. But what's oh, he will. shocking, what's shocking is Harry clapped back. So normally when the Queen issues a statement, <laughs> who responds to the Queen? Harry said, you know what, we'll respond. And he said the following, regardless of official roles, we can all live a life of service, service. Service is universal. So exactly. she said, you can't be of service if you're not a royal. And he said, you don't need to be a queen or have a crown or a throne or a title to do good. So, so the now Brits William is very upset. Furious. So William's actually shocked that anyone spoken back to Granny. Nobody in that house ever yeah. talks back and to the Queen, ever. So they're shocked that he did it, and now I'm told the situation between the brothers is at an all-time low. Which means the situation better. with the girls is at an all-time all never. It's all-time low. And then this comes just after Meghan and Harry announced they're having a new baby. See. So we hoped, we hoped this would bring the family together, but yeah. it sort of hasn't. And then the big problem here, is that sit-down interview they're doing with Oprah Winfrey. So they're doing the Oprah interview. Wow. They've done it already. They, they, they've taped it, and this is what caused all this scandal. Oprah can ask anything. There's nothing off the yeah. record. Also, too, they're not giving a tape to the palace, so the palace won't see it until it airs. You know what? I like it. <laughs> I, I, I like it. Yeah, he probably didn't really want to be a royal, royal, royal like that to begin with. He's probably glad he's an older brother who you, t you be king. Right. Right, the tricky part of that about it though, is like working with family. Is it, should you work with family, shouldn't you? This family is a job, the job is the family. Oh, so wow. William's very tied up in this whole duty and doing right by the family. So I think he feels as if by walking away from the official job, Harry is walking away from the family. They're saying that's not true, but it's gonna be very awkward now when he goes home. Why, because he's happy and William's not? That's a good point. What, there, what else do you have there's for there's us? Right, we'll move along. Marilyn Manson, so this story is explosive. It happened mm. over the weekend. And allegations of domestic violence. So four ladies, four new people have come forward and alleged abuse. This comes right on the heels of Evan Rachel Woods, who said the following. The name of my abuser is Brian Warner. You might not know that name, but it's also known to the world as Marilyn Manson. He started grooming me when I was a teenager. She was only 18 when she started to date grooming. him. And horrifically abused me for years. I was brainwashed and manipulated into submission. So now uh, these other ladies have come forward and the sheriff is investigating. Because at first there weren't enough ladies right. and a lot, of, a, a lot of people ignore when women say that they've been you know, sexually abused because they think of that for children and not you know, grown full yes. women. We've seen this in other cases in the Me Too movement. It was when a celebrity unfortunately said something that the floodgates opened and yeah. then other people started to be listened to. He lived in Hollywood, I think it was like 2009 to 2011. That's when they alleged that these incidents, these awful acts took place and now he is being investigated. His wife, so remember when he was married to Dita Von Tisa, yeah. she obviously had to issue a statement. She said the following, the details made public do not match my personal experience during our seven years together as a couple. Had they, I wouldn't have married him. So she claims they split because of infidelity and drugs, not abuse. He's laying low, so we've not seen him. Yeah, they said that he's, he's held up in his house yeah, with yeah. a full security force and they and helicopters over that's top. That's right, that's right. But they had to do a drive-by wellness. You know, they do that, you know, the authorities. Yeah, so they did. So, they, so somebody called the cops and said, we needed a wellness check. They went to the house. He wouldn't let them in. We saw I wish someone would. You're, you're trying to lay low and, you know. And, him, and he's got 24-hour security, so you can't just knock the door, ring the doorbell and walk in. So he's doing that. But he has issued a statement to quickly what he said. 
was that he denies all allegations mm -hmm. this was not the case. He also said, too, that when he was an artist, it was very controversial what he did, but it's all been misrepresented, but it's been investigated, Wendy. I like that investigation. You know, they're gonna get to the bottom of it. Well, Rob, another great time. <laughs> Good time. Thank you for being here. Uh, check out Rob's Naughty But Nice podcast. Trendy at Wendy is next. Stuff here. It's time for Trendy at Wendy. Please welcome back to our show our friend Mikkel. Hello, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? Good. Um, okay. So we had these before. Uh huh. And oops. They're a hot seller. That's why we have them back. Yeah. So sorry. let's get started. Everything we have here is from our friends over at Rue La La. We have the Royale USA Styling Essential 4 in 1 set. Now, guys, bring the salon to you with this ultra versatile. This works on all hair types, on thin mm -hmm. or thick hair. Let's walk through exactly what you're getting, right? So you get the uh, straightening detangling brush, you get the round comb, you get the volume comb, and you get the hair serum. You can get it in three colors, you guys. You get the pink, you get the purple, and you get the black. So all of that is nice. It's so great to just be able to do your hair in the comfort of your own home. So Not only that, it. but with a good set of tools. Yeah, and it works, again, on all hair textures. Whether you're looking for, like, sleek and straight or you're looking for volume, this right. is what you need. Let's get into it. How the much price is point it? is $5.39, but Wendy watches you're getting it for 95% off, just $24.99 for a four-in-one set. <laughs> yeah. You gotta love that, okay? <laughs> That's a good deal. I was excited about that one. Uh -huh. Okay, let's move on to the next one. We have the Salvatore Ferragamo Women's Sunglasses. Now, you guys, face the day confidently with a pair. Oh, come on, a pair of these sunglasses. Wendy is rocking them. Okay, this is a luxury brand at an incredible deal. It's what I call a steal of a deal, yeah. right? They come in a variety of frames and a bunch of colors that you can get. In fact, we have them in three styles and a variety of colors. You, know, you just feel more confident when you wear your sunglasses, right? For those of you who don't like a big logo on the side, mm. it's very, very tastefully written, Ferragamo. Right. Very tasteful. That's right. So these normally retail for up to $195. But Wendy watches, you're getting it for up to 66% off. These glasses are $64.99. Okay. It's a good price point. So far, so good. <laughs> mm. All right, let's move on to the next item. We have the Versace V Barocco print silk scarf. Now, Wendy, this is that iconic yeah. Versace print. It is a staple, another steal of a deal. In fact, we have one of your PAs who is rocking the scarf. Now, you see how she has it around her neck? Mm -hmm. I saw somebody who would have it as a shirt, or you could have it around your bag or have it around your belt loop. It's yeah. versatile, right? It comes in the colors and the white and the blue and you can and then the white, the pink and the purple as well. All right, so this is made in Italy. It's a hundred percent luxurious silk. It feels so good. Really guys. silky. Exactly. All right, so it normally retails for four hundred and fifty dollars, but Wendy watches you're getting it for forty-four percent off. This scarf right here is two forty-nine ninety-nine. And by the way, by the way, um, I wash on gentle and hang to dry. You don't have to take this, this uh, to the dry cleaner, please. That's right, that's right. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the next item. We have the Allegrease 24K Rejuvenating Eye Set. Now, you guys, treat your eyes with this eye set. This really helps to take care of your face and your skin. It's made with high-quality ingredients, right, mm -hmm. to really give you that nice luxury treatment in the comfort of your own home. So let's walk through what you're getting, the Silhouette Eye Cream, and you also get the Rejuvenating Eye Serum. Again, we tend to put concealer and foundation on our face, but you don't have to do all that when you actually take care of your skin the right way. And right? we know this brand also. Oh yeah, it's a great brand, a a quality brand. Yeah. A little, okay, but Wendy watches, that's why you're in for a treat. Okay. So it normally retails for 184, mm -hmm. but Wendy watches you're getting it for 72% off, just 49.99. Very nice. Yeah, really Very great nice. deal. All right, let's move on to our next item. This is the Bob Sweep Pet Hair Robotic Vacuum Cleaner and <laughs> Mop. Now, this is great for cleaning up all of life's messes, but it's not just for people with pets. This is for cleaning up food, cleaning up dust that you may have in your house. You can mop, sweep, vacuum. This works on tile, hardwood. It works on a variety of surfaces. Have one right here. It comes in two colors, in the champagne and in the rouge. And I wanted the champagne, and before the show was over, last time that mm -hmm. you were here, I think you brought one of these with you. Yes, the Bob Sweep. And mm -hmm. they were sold out. They were sold out for so good today, reason. today, I'm just gonna take this one. Well, it's the <gasps> suction power as well that you get with it. Okay, here we go. It takes it just a second to power up, uh -huh. but really the technology that they have developed with these vacuum cleaners is really incredible. Again, I just wanna reiterate that it works on a bunch of different surfaces. So you can put it on your high pile, tar uh, your carpet, your tile, your hardwood. Yeah. 
but it's figuring out your house, cleaning up nice for you. So isn't that great? All right, and no, normally- but, uh, Wait, and what yeah, you don't understand is that depending on the size of your pet, this yeah. is like a ride for them. <laughs> so they, they, they get on and ride around. Yeah, I can't so wait to get home today. Lots of fun for my way and chit chat there. Let's talk about the price. It normally retails for $6.69, but Wendy watches, you're getting it for 70% off, just $1.99. Yeah. So nice. Macau, thank you so much. Thank you, our friends at Rulala. Get these amazing deals before they sell out. Go to wendyshow.com. Ask Wendy is next. Black History Month, and today we're honoring Naomi Osaka. She had an incredible weekend. I don't know whether you saw, but she is a four-time Grand Slam champion. She is reigning at the US Open. She's just doing a lot and she's so young to be doing it. Uh, this weekend, she got her second title in Australia. So, you know, we, we honor you. Yeah. It's time for Ask Wendy. All right, Danielle. How you doing? Hi, Wendy, how you doing? Fine, thank you. Now you're in the Upper West Side, Manhattan. What's your question? Hi, um, I have a friend that's turning 40 and we were supposed to go to Miami, but the trip got canceled because we're a little apprehensive about the virus. And some of the girls want to do something local, but I'm not really comfortable being that close to people over a long weekend. So <laughs> how can I convince my friends to take this Miami trip local and do fun things here so we could dip and do like we used to? Okay, but you're still gonna be together if you did go to Miami. And, and it's even worse because you have to deal with airports and planes and sitting close to people. So I wouldn't go to Miami if I were you. If I'm not forced to go to Miami, I'm not going to Miami. I, I agree with that part. Um, but why don't you guys get a whole bunch of hotel rooms on one floor? Hotels are, they're, they're available. Call around um, and book five hotel rooms or something like that. That way you're not sitting with each other all the time. But you know, and maybe one of the rooms is like the main suite where you know you have um, like a dining room table and you socially distance. And you can have a lot of time, a good time at a hotel and not be worried about the plane. You know. I love it. Just I cannot, I'm never going home again. When this is over, I'm gonna be out every single night. Wendy, I'm that's never gonna be home again. That's what I say. <laughs> Thank you, you very so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now Tarari is in Florida. Tarari, how you doing? How you doing, Wendy? My Fine, name thanks. is Tarari from Jacksonville, Florida. And my question for you today is, my ex-husband is recently remarried uh, we have a 15-year-old son who will possibly be moving in with him and his new wife soon. How do I, or even should I, try to develop a relationship with the new wife? Oh, well, that's easy. Do you want him back secretly? No, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> um, how long has he been with her before he married her? Um, they've been together for some years, but her and I have never had any type of relationship. Well, that wasn't necessary, but now it's time. Uh, the 15 year old doesn't right. need your guidance anymore in terms of when he wants to mm -hmm. go over there and when he doesn't, you can put him in an Uber, he can go mm -hmm. over there. Um, but it won't be hard to develop some sort of relationship with her. And if I were you, I wouldn't do it just like, look, girl, we've never had a relationship, but it, we, you know, we've got children, you all go on and have children or whatever. We're family, whether we like it or not. Let's have a sandwich. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, f food makes everything better. <laughs> right. Okay, right. all right, Terary, we'll be right back. <laughs> Time for a celebrity face swap. I did not guess this. Dion, I see you're in Atlanta. How you doing? How you doing? Good. I'm normally good at this. Let's see the picture. Now these are two celebrities and we blended their faces. Do you need a hint? I do, one, let me have a hint, please. Okay, well the man is at the bottom and the lady's at the top. They're married. Okay. Um, uh, one of them just got an John, EGOT. It's John Legend, it looks like John Legend and his wife, Christine. Tegan, yes, wow. <laughs> Good job, Dion. You got a $100 gift card, and we'll be right back. Yeah. I 
love eye candy, and our eye candy of the day is Miles in Miami. Take a look. How you doing? Thank you so much, Wendy, for choosing me to be your eye candy of the day. My style is very fun and colorful and a lot of how you doing, if you know what I mean. This shirt was only $5, kind of a 90s inspired vibe. These jeans, only $20 with a little DIY yellow spray paint. And these platform sandals were $30. So this entire outfit was less than, I think, about $50. Thank you so much, Wendy. Mwah. Love you so much. How you doing? Thank you, Miles. Miles, I loved your outfit, right down to your platforms. We're gonna send you a limited edition. How you doing? Light up mask. We'll be right back. <laughs> My guest today and my co-host, my staff and studio audience, my co-host at home as well on the virtual. Tomorrow we're gonna break down the week's hottest reality shows. Plus I got you with the hot topics. I love you for watching today and I'll see you next time on Wendy, bye. Nice.